What's going on everybody? I'm headed to Door County. I'm driving right now. I just left where I'm at. I decided I'm gonna take some personal time from work to do concrete with a company for five days. And it's kind of a, it's a short trip, but for me, it's a big move. I got a pretty decent job where I'm at. And I don't really have too many complaints that I can really think of, but something's pulling me towards Door County. So I figured why not try it? I got a little slot at a campsite in Fish Creek. I'm gonna pitch a tent. I got all my shit in the car. It's a little cloudy, car's a little choppy. I'm headed over there and I'm gonna see what happens. All this past winter I was reading. Yeah, I read a few books and one that stuck with me the most is actually called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyways. And since I've been going to Door County a lot and thinking about it a lot and going on the Instagrams, liking all the photos, wishing I was there, I figured I could try to work out there. I don't wanna look back in a few years and be like, damn, I should have done that or shit, I never even tried. Even this next upcoming winter, I'll probably be kicking my butt saying, why didn't you go? I'm a little nervous, a little anxious, a little excited, a little bit silly, because I don't know what the fuck I'm really doing. Yeah, now you guys know, excuse my language, I'm gonna try not to swear. But yeah, let's see what happens in Door County, here we come. Okay, so the tent is up and I've made it. That's my tent, just got it. The one I had before that didn't really work out, so me and Hannah got a different tent, so I'm testing it out. I'm gonna be here for five days, like I said, I'm staying in Fish Creek. It's about 15 minutes from the yard that I'm meeting the guys at. I gotta meet them at seven tomorrow, but I'll be there early drinking coffee. Overall, this was a really smooth introduction into a trip that was not really planned, that kind of just fell into my lap. I'm going into it with open eyes and I don't have any expectations. If anything, I'll look back at it a year from now and say, damn, I actually fucking did it. If it doesn't work out, it might. For a while, I was always thinking about doing this, but I never could get myself to do it. And I'm not sure why. Now that I've done it, I know that I can do it, if that makes sense. And I guess that's like with anything. If you continue to sit, how do you expect to get ahead? I mean, I just don't understand why we continue to just kind of make ourselves stay comfortable. Part of being alive is being uncomfortable. It's hard to learn, it's a difficult thing to grasp, but once you have it, you can use it. Like me, I'm in fucking Fish Creek camping for like the third time in my life. I got sausages on this little fucking thing I bought and this is all I could really ask for. Door County is beautiful. I, driving in with the sun coming out and everything hitting the trees and the water, it just reminded me of why I love this place so much. And on top of that, they got breweries and distilleries. Who doesn't like a good beer and a shot, you know what I mean? But overall, this fucking county is just beyond gorgeous. I'm so happy to be here. Nervous, excited, you know, all the all the jazz that you throw in there with that. But overall, this was a good decision so far. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm ready to get to this company. I want to see what's going on. Like I said, I have an open mind. And just being here and thinking about everything, it feels right. And I'm kind of going with that feeling. There's just this charm to Door County, you know, I was walking to the pisser in the middle of the campground, it's real close to where my tent is, and just seeing the sunset and the way the trees look and the overall vibe, I never would have pictured myself camping. It's always so funny how we put expectations on things, and most of the time when we do things, we feel better, so it's nice to be here and it's nice to be experiencing this, and it's only day one. I got. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to get through, and then I drive home Friday. I'm going to try to vlog in the morning when I wake up. I gotta get some coffee going first, but hopefully I can do that. We will see, it's to be continued, but definitely happy I'm here, and I'm fucking feeling really good. So we'll go with that. I'm just getting up. It is 5.30 in the morning. I did not sleep well. Don't normally sleep well as it is, knowing that I had a lot of stuff to do. I think it kept me up, so got about four hours of sleep, give or take. But very beautiful in the morning as well. It's a little chilly, willy. My eyes are a little red, so hopefully the boys at the new company don't ask me any questions, you know. You say, hey, those boys' eyes are as red as the jazz cab as you were smoking last night. Is it locally sourced organic? I don't know, but I'm gonna hit the road a little early. Go see if I can catch a sunrise before I meet them. Let's go see what we find.
This is literally the view that you walk into when you pull into the parking lot. And I'm not talking about that Kia right there, baby. I'm talking about the water. It's fucking 6.15 in the morning. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Okay, first day is done. I like it. I like the people. I like what they're doing. They do things a little differently than I do, but that's okay. Overall, it was a solid 10 out of 10. And we got done at 2.30, so I had time to make it to the YMCA in Fish Creek. It's a beautiful gym. It looks like it was just redone. I have no idea, but it definitely got the job done for the shoulders. Then I hit the showers, did some shavings, and now I'm headed back to the campground to get my shit ready for the morning so that I can head to Fred and Buzzies tonight. That way I can see what it's like just to kind of do my thing in Door County. It's very weird to be thinking that I'm here. I'm used to leaving on Monday and I'm only just getting settled in. It's a very funny feeling. I was almost forgetting at work today that I was even in Door County because I'm just, I'm not used to working here. But it's real cool. I like it a lot and it's really, really making me happy that I made it's really making me happy that I made this decision I really don't regret it and I really am gonna be sad when I go back I'm definitely digging this vibe this beautiful area I mean check out the trees and the ride the Y is literally a fucking minute from the campground I'm already back so it's definitely cool I have no negative things to say and I love that well it's Wednesday morning I'm here at Hawker's Yard. We're starting at 6 o'clock, which is fine. I like to get up early. As far as the job, I like it a lot. The people are great, like I said before. They're, they're really good people, honest, hardworking, and it's exactly how I am. I try to be honest and hardworking. I mean, hard work is literally what I love to do. And we don't work too wonky of hours. I mean, 6 o'clock today, I'm guessing we won't work too late. And it still leaves me time to do stuff. Like yesterday, I made it to Egg Harbor for a beautiful sunset. I had Casey's barbecue, got some brisket chili, which I never eat, but it was so goddamn good. I just did not regret it at all. I met a very lovely couple, Gary and Susan. They're in their 60s, I believe, early 60s. And we talked the entire time I was at Casey's. I sat at the bar. They asked if the seat next to me was open, and then bada bam, bada boom. We started talking but overall it kind of seems like this is where I'm supposed to be you know I look at the landscape and the Sun and just the overall vibe and I can't help but feel a certain type of way I've talked to quite a few people now who have mentioned that there is a real shortage for laborers which really works out for me and the way I picture it is if I were to move out here to work with these guys, I would be bettering the community. And I think the reason why I like Door County so much is because of the community. I mean, I love the idea that you can hit nature trails, you can observe nature, you can jump in the water, you can sit at the beaches, you can do what you want with the landscape. But if you want to get a crispy ass hoppy beer, or if you want to get some good food, you can hit the surrounding towns. There's so many good cool places to go to with people my age starting really cool things. So I guess that's a lot to think about. I'm halfway through my trip and it's bittersweet. I'm starting to really enjoy it here. I'm getting my way around. It's day three and I finally made it to the yard without getting lost. So that's another good thing. I really, really recommend Door County to anybody I talk to because this place has such a unique look and feeling to it. It's very hard to explain. You have to experience it yourself. And look at me, I'm here for a fucking week playing uh, labor for a concrete company. That's how much I like it. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just doing it. This is Bailey's Harbor, where I'm sitting right now. It is absolutely intoxicating in the cringiest way possible. Last time we were here, I built some rocks over there into a tower, and then a guy that worked here asked me if I could put them back. What's funny about this beach is the last time we were here, we actually chilled on this beach playing guitar, and now there's a bunch of muck 
all over the sand, so you wouldn't catch me hanging out there right now. But I am sitting on these rocks thinking about everything. And so far the trip itself has been a 10 out of 10. I'm so lucky to be here, to have the money to camp and eat and do what I gotta do to essentially live here, you know, joining the Y for the week and working out and doing my thing has been really fun. The company has been great. I don't necessarily have an answer yet. I was trying to picture today what it would be like to work with these guys all the time and I can see myself doing it, you know, picking up and moving and getting a fresh start on everything is a difficult thing to do. And I think I can do it. I don't want to leave my girl behind and I think she will come with me. But I'm just thinking about things. I don't really have an answer, nor do I have direct things I can say in this vlog. I do know that if you haven't been to Door County, you need to come here. It's so funny how I remember the first time I got offered to come here with friends, I was like, fuck that, I just want to go to the bar. And then I came here and I realized what I'd been missing out on. So this trip has definitely been a, a trip full of reflection and just a lot of thinking in general. As you can see, the trip is fantastic. Well, I just left the campground for the last time. Six o'clock in the morning, I packed up my tent. I'm out of there. And I have mixed feelings still. I wish somebody could make this decision for me. I've got a good opportunity out here after talking with the owner of the company yesterday. I just don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I'm ready to move. I don't know if I'm ready to not move. I don't know if I want to get out of mediocre life or if I want to spice it up and bring a little Latino down here to Door County. I just don't know. And the more I think about it, the more I think I'll psych myself out. So my plan is to just enjoy today. But again, I gotta make decisions, you know? Like, shit like normal things that you would do, like hit make... Normal things that you think you could do, like go to Walmart or hit a Walgreens or go to McDonald's or go to a gas station that's open early, it just isn't an option here and I don't eat McDonald's and all that shit, but I do like having the convenience of certain things. Like right now, I want a protein bar. But I'm not gonna find a fucking pro I'm not gonna find a protein bar because nothing's open and I'm hungry. Okay, so I just spent $6.50 on two protein bars and that's because each protein bar was 20 grams of protein per bar. Another thing that kind of bothers me but I could learn to deal with, I don't like that there isn't a whole lot to choose from. I mean, I can buy this kind of shit. I got a fucking Quest bar, I never buy this, but the kinds I normally get are less than $3 and they're 32 grams of protein, you know what I mean? So, it weighs itself out. But stuff like that, I don't like. Because I don't want to spend that much money on a little shit that I need. Yeah, I should have bought it in bulk, but still, sometimes you're on the go, and really, I should blame America because healthy food in general is just frowned upon. God forbid I can get a protein bar with actual nutrition for less than three fucking bucks. I mean, give me a break. How the fuck can you get a Snickers bar, a Funyuns, and a Mountain Dew for the same price as two protein bars? How does that work? I don't understand. These little protein bars that are two bites and they're gone. But that's a different story. The golden question as I chew and talk to you guys. Do I move here? If you're watching, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I wish I could have gave you more landscape. And I wish I could have filmed myself talking in public more. But I'm already feeling vulnerable. So to do that would also make me feel worse. Not that I care, but you know what I mean. So I may film one more time on my ride home after the last day of work. But I did want to film this because I do have the time. And... I'm a little loopy from the cafe, baby. This has been my ride from my campground. This is Ephraim. I don't know if you can tell, but it's gorgeous. So now you can kind of see what I'm doing. Well, I just left. I'm headed home. I got paid. 
had a talk with the owner. There's some things I gotta think about. I still don't have an answer, I wish I did. We worked at a very beautiful job today though, and I was thinking, could I do this, you know, like move out here and at least enjoy the area while I worked. I think a lot of what I'm struggling with is whether or not I will see Door County as what it is if I'm working here or if I'll start to not utilize it like I do when I come here for a vacation. And on top of that, some of the methods are a little different than what I know, but overall, my trip has been a 10 out of 10. Working with the guys was a 10 out of 10. It's been an ultimate experience, and I don't think that I'll ever do anything quite this crazy, you know, just kind of pick up and hit the road. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I really liked the people, and I have to go home and consider a lot of things. You know, if anything, right now, what it has taught me is to go and do more stuff. There's absolutely no reason why the voice in my head should be telling me why I can't do shit. I literally just did something that most people probably have never done, and maybe it was only five days, but still, I could guarantee you it's something that a lot of people wish they could do. Well, I fucking did it, and I'm not worried about what happens afterward. I just want to get back and hang out with Hannah. I don't care about anything else besides my happiness. That is what matters to me. I am happy in Door County. We worked in Jacksonport today on the lake. That shit was beautiful. I don't want to come off as somebody that's just trying to make a video and oh, this is just an excuse to do whatever it is you may think. I made this video for me because years from now, I may not make it back here and I may think, holy shit, I almost made a really big decision and changed my life for the worse. Or, I might be out here in a couple years and have moved up and think, damn, look at this video. I was being fucking wonky considering all this other stuff. Overall, being here has taught me that I can go and do things after work, like hitting up Bailey's Harbor, going to Fish Creek, getting food, getting ice cream, eating bad during the week. I'm real bad with that. Normally, I try to stick to my diet, but there are some things that I have learned for myself, aside from the job, aside from living out here, that I'll take back with me regardless. And that sounds cheesy or whatever, but it's true. So I've hit the road, and I got a lot of thinking to do. I got to get a monster, and I might have myself one of those dare cigarettes. And I just am excited. I have a really good opportunity in front of me, and I may or may not take it, so maybe I'll make a video on whether I take it or not. But for now, if you have not been to Door County, come on out. And this place is ridiculously cool, quaint, charming, and modern, and hipstery, and young and old and beautiful. It really is an escape from the everyday fast-paced life. So check it out, use local if you can, but if you can't afford it, get yourself a little tiny house or whatever, and just get out here and enjoy your time and start making bigger picture decisions. Take some risks, stop staying in the fucking limbo, man. Get out, get uncomfortable, that's what we're here for. There's nothing else to it, okay? Well, I will see you guys soon, and maybe it'll be in Door County, but I don't know. I appreciate you watching. Leave your comments and likes in the description below in my crotch area. Till the next time, guys. Yeah,